Hi there. So for this question then, we were given this graph here of y equals f of x. And we were asked to sketch in the first part, part a, the graph of y equals 3f of x. And then in part b, the graph of y equals f of minus x. So we also had to show any asymptotes and where it crossed the x and y axis. So as you can see that in part a, I'm assuming that you're familiar with transformations of graphs. You can always check these out on my website, though, if there are any problems. For something like this, when you've got a number in front of f of x, this represents a stretch parallel to the y-axis of scale factor 3 in this case. So any points on the x-axis remain invariant, that is, they don't move. So the graph is still going to go through this point here, 2.50. The asymptote, though, y equals 3, gets shifted up by a factor of 3 times. So that's now going to be an asymptote at y equals 9. And where the graph crossed at 0, 9, the y-axis at 0, 9, we multiply the y-coordinate by 3, and it's now at 0, 27. And as for this maximum point at 111, then that gets increased by a factor of 3 parallel to the y-axis. So you can see it's now 133, 11 3 is 33. OK, so you're going to get that kind of curve then. Now, for part b, for y equals f of minus x, what this represents is a reflection in the y-axis. So... The asymptote will not change, it's still going to remain as y equals 3. But where it crosses the x-axis at 2.50, that's now going to be reflected across the y-axis to minus 2.50. The point on the y-axis stays invariant, never changes. But this maximum point at 111, as you can see, gets reflected across the y-axis and it's now got coordinates minus 1, 11. So, should be able to see then the curve of y equals f of minus x.